Good morning students. Today I am going to teach you geography. I will start it from our first chapter, chapter 1, representation of geographical features of the earth. Yes, we can represent everything means man-made feature, physical feature or natural features of our earth on a paper, flat paper and that paper is called map. So in one sentence we can say map can represent our whole world. This map, what is the meaning of this map? This map has derived from two Latin words, one mappa, another mundi. Mappa means shit and mundi means of the world. So we can represent our world on a paper that is called map. This map, we have different types of map. I think many of you have seen map, many of you have atlas. Atlas, it is a book of maps. So, we can see different types of maps on this earth. That's why we can divide it into two categories. One, on the basis of content. Another one, on the basis of skill. On the basis of content, map can be three types. Political, physical and thematic maps. And on the basis of scale, it can be two types. Large scale map, small scale map. Large scale map again subdivided into two categories. Cadastral, topographical and small. Same two division we are getting here. One is called atlas, another is called wall map. So ultimately, we are getting many types of map like political, physical, thematic. Political means where we can see only boundaries. Physical means relief structures like mountain, rivers, these things. Thematic map means theme based like climate, temperature, rainfall distribution, agricultural activity, etc. So these are the three types of map. And finally, cadastral topography, atlas and wallpaper. Total 7. Out of these 7 types, our topic is topographical map. Can you see one circle, one boundary I have given here? Because this is our lesson, this is our chapter. Here heading is representation of geographical features of the earth. It can be possible with the help of map, but what type of map? Especially, mainly topographical map. And that is our today's topic. Topographical map. So we are going to know about this map. Exactly what we are going to know about this map? First, meaning or you can say definition. Then we are going to know the significance of a topo map or importance. And the last, component. What is the meaning of component? Component means language. Language of a map. Component means language of a map. Through these components, we can describe, we can understand any type of map and specially topo map. And the components are, which are very important for topo map. I have mentioned here, number one, title. B, skill, C, direction, D, grid system, E, color scheme, and F, conventional symbols. Out of these six components, we will discuss skill, color scheme, and conventional symbols. Why only three? Because these three given in our book, our syllabus only. Now, our topic topographical map actually map can represent our whole earth and some people they can do this work 
those people are called cartographer and this kind of work which is a kind of art or science who are dealing with this science this subject is called cartography and the persons are called cartographers once again i repeat the science of drawing maps called cartography and the persons who are doing the work called cartographer so topographical map one type of map it is also done by some cartographer now what type of map is this what is the meaning of topo map it is a large scale map yes i mentioned on the basis of scale map can be two types large and small large scale map means here we use large scale to represent small area what i said here we use large scale to represent small area and in this map topo map we can represent everything means natural and man made features that is our topo map and then small scale map it is a kind of small scale map which represent large area just opposite of large scale large scale map means which represents small area small scale map represents large area our topic topo map and topo map is a large scale map and it shows both the natural and man made features of the earth cleared next importance or significance it has given in the book i have mentioned page number 10 to 11 only one important importance i have mentioned it shows both the natural and man made features of the earth except this significance it has many more like this map is important for engineers to make roadways railway system canals this one is also important for study of geology many are there so you follow the page number given next part components i said means language it helps to understand a map especially topo map and three components today we will discuss because these three are our part of syllabus first one i will start color scheme in page number 13 page number i mentioned there 13 one table has given and you students know about it that to represent or to draw something on map we use some specific color few examples i have given like blue color we use for perennial river what is the meaning of perennial where water is available throughout the year green color we mainly use to represent vegetation or trees yellow color we use to represent cultivated lands like that we many colors are there black red white so if you follow this uh, page 30 you will get one table table of color scheme different color and the features particular feature have mentioned there it is your homework i want to see this table in your copy our next component conventional symbols what are the meaning of these symbols actually these are the symbol whole world use this same type of symbols to represent man made and natural features because mountain railways rivers houses exactly not possible to draw on a map that's why we use some specific symbols to represent those features those symbols are called conventional conventional symbols and its importance whole world use this same symbol to represent same features means as an indian we are using some symbols to represent mountain rivers people of america africa australia any place any country any continent if you take all we use the same type of symbols to represent same features 
If we don't follow this one, then it will create a confusion to understand different maps of different countries. That's why these symbols are very important. Its meaning, which one just now I said, given on this page, I mentioned. You just follow, you read first. What is the meaning of conventional symbols that are used all over the world on various maps to show different features are known as conventional symbols. And one table given just in next page, 14 and 15. I have mentioned this is your homework. I want to see this table in your copy. So from this, we are getting two homework, two tables. One about color scheme, another about conventional symbols. Now, our last component of topo map, that is scale. Most important. What is a scale? It is an instrument. It measures the map distance and the corresponding distance of the ground. So, we can represent it with the help of three different methods on a map. So, here I have written methods to represent the scale on a map. And these three methods are statement method or statement type of scale representative fraction or RF skill and the last linear skill. Actually, these three methods are applicable for all types of maps. But our topic is topo map and for topo map, this method, second one, representative fraction or RF is important. So again, I am telling for topo map, this method RF method is applicable. Rest of the methods are applicable for all types of maps. So what is the meaning of the first one statement? I think many of you have seen map. Sometimes we can see this kind of information has written on a map. Means one centimeter on map represents 10 kilometer on the ground. So this is the statement which has written on the map. That is statement or verbal skill. Representative fraction, it is a ratio. Is to sign you can see, it is a ratio. Ratio between distance on the map by distance on the ground. Means here we can use same unit. This is the plus point of this type of scale. So here one centimeter on the map represent 50 centimeter on the ground. So this figure according to your choice you can convert it into any units. So this is the positive side of this scale. Last linear one. This kind of scale will be drawn on a map. Here we can see two divisions. One primary division which represent 1 centimeter is equal to 10 kilometer. And this side, very minutely, we are getting secondary division. Where we can see 1 centimeter is equal to 10 kilometer, but which is also divided into this further division. This kind of scale is called linear scale. But again, I want to say for topo map, this RF scale is very important. And the last part that is also related to scale, it is distance can be measured by scale, all of you know. But we can measure it into two different ways. One, if the line is straight or direct, we can do, we can use scale. But if the line is indirect, then what we will do? Suppose river. River is not a straight line. But sometimes we have to measure it. What we will do? Yes. So first straight one. Straight one is very easy for us. With the help of scale or strip of paper, we can measure this one. But the indirect one, to measure the distance of that figure, we use either thread or another type of instrument. 
which is called opisometer. Sorry, the spelling opisometer, T E R. Understood? So, we can measure the distance with the help of scale. But if it is the straight, directly scale we can use to measure that one. But if it is the indirect distance, we have to use either opisometer or thread. Understood? Now, the last part of our today's lesson, that is homework part. Today we have learned about types of map, the meaning of particular topo map, its significance and its components. These three things given in these three different boxes. Let's inquire, link box, revisal. I have mentioned here page number. All of you prepare, all of you learn these boxes by heart. Questions may come from here. And this portion discuss the following. These are the boxes. Page number I have given 11, 13 and 16 where some questions given. You have to find out their answer and you have to write where in the book with the help of pencil. So these pages you will done, you will do in your book. Done? And now from exercise, only one type of question I have given, very short type and that is from A to E. Total, I think 5 questions are there and you have to write their answers in your copy. This one in your book and this one in your copy. Except this two, already I have given you two tables. Color scheme and conventional symbols. That one also you have to do in your copy. So now the question is what type of copy you will use. I prefer small copy because small copy is easy to carry. It can be practical or it can be ruled one. That is your choice. But you will maintain only one copy for everything. Thank you.